Welcome, and today I'm interviewing Aaron Richardson, a friend for over 10 years. He's the true definition of a gamer. Comfortable on console, computer, or smartphone, I even suspect he was born with a controller in hand. Welcome, Aaron. Good to be here. So firstly, let me start by asking, what games are you currently playing? Currently I'm playing Street Fighter V. On, these are all on PS4. So Street Fighter V, Dark Souls 3, Destiny 2. I'm playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, Mortal Kombat X and uh, a few other shooters. So a fair, yeah. a fair few games you're playing. A fair moment. few games. Now Destiny 2 has just been released on console yes. and it's coming out soon on, on PC. Tell us, what, what is it like? It is amazing. Okay, so when I first bought Destiny 1, I was like, surely there needs to be a great shooter for the PS4 that is Halo based. Now, Destiny blew me away with the likeness that it had to Halo and uh, I'm absolutely loving Destiny 2. They've basically revamped the game, put everything in that the first game should have had, and uh, yeah, it's a really great online... way to game. Sorry, how's the online gameplay? The online gameplay is awesome. One thing that is a little bit annoying though is it's kind of hard to get a group together to do the raids, which is a big part of the game. Um, other than that, it's quite easy to get a fire team ready to go and shoot up any yeah. number of enemies. Now, you've also mentioned Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Out of the two, which is your uh, which is your forte? Oh, it's a tough one. Street Fighter definitely has more skill involved, and I like that real skill factor to it. Mortal Kombat is kind of a kick back, take it easy, mash buttons kind of game, which can be fun, but I prefer the skill. Now, I don't want to blow smoke, but you could possibly be one of Perth's top five Street Fighter players. I, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't stop you there, Paulie. Um, um, how, how many hours have you spent playing Street Fighter? So, Street Fighter 4, I probably spent over 3,000 hours playing. And the new Street Fighter 5 game, I've put in at least 1,000. And it's continuing to grow. Now, are there going to be more updates that come out with the new Street Fighter yes. 5? Yes. So, each season takes a year to complete. Every season, they bring out you know a new bunch of characters. They nerf. Um, balance the game as much as possible and um, yeah so they're actually doing updates a lot of the time and it's keeping the game fresh and constantly moving forward. And I see now that they're also having you know the tournaments are starting to get quite large as well. Yeah so Perth actually has a couple of bars and bistros that will actually have tournaments on so you can go and have a drink with a few friends and play games. And game as well. And game. Now speaking of land centres, um, we actually both met at a land centre here in Scarborough is that correct? Yes. Four play games. Four. <laughs> and uh, and how many years did you attend four play games? I was at four play games from the age of fifteen till about twenty two when they sadly shut down. So for about seven to eight years, I was going to four PG. So it was pretty, uh, 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 I guess, it was central to yeah. your gaming gaming. Life. Absolutely, it was a place where we could all come together and game. No hesitations, no questions asked. It was just good fun, mates, and games. Now, uh, Mario Kart is another one that you're also <laughs> notoriously known for. I, I uh, don't think I've ever seen anyone beat you. Um, what is your secret with Mario Kart? Uh, just uh, go red. Red goes faster. Now, to be honest, Mario Kart is very much uh, a game of the minds. It's all about psyching the opponent out. If you can laugh and show that you're having as much fun as possible, it really puts people off. They want to be where you are. They get to thinking. They're not. So. You just take the lead and you keep the lead. As you do, as, as you, do. you do. Now, uh, I know this is going to be a hard question, but what are your all-time top five video games? Number one, I'm going to have to go with The Legend of Zelda, the 64 version. So Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, both classic and amazing games, really good on the storyline and the gameplay for their day of age. Um, second game, Street Fighter. I love the, the competitive gameplay. I love how much skill it takes to get good at that game. Dark Souls 3 is a game I've been playing a lot at the moment and I'm really loving that game. Destiny 2 is another one and my fifth on the list would have to definitely be Smash Brothers. A big Smash Brothers fan? Big Smash Bros fan. Okay, okay. And now, you've mentioned a number of different consoles and, and whatnot. Um, what are some of the consoles you've had over the years? Because I've known you to have at least 10 since I've known you. My first console was an Atari Lynx. Wow. One of the ones that you could flip up both upside down and uh, you could essentially game upside down. Yes, yes. Um, the second one I had was a SNES. 
Then I got my Nintendo 64 for my 10th birthday, which changed my life. Oh, wow. Uh, absolutely. Um, I've loved gaming since the 64. What games, just off the top of your head, what games what did... Oh, I remember the 64, but just the So, audience. Perfect Dark, everyone raved on about how Goldeneye was the best shooter. Completely overshadowed by Perfect Dark. Um, Legend of Zelda also came out on the 64. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Banjo-Kazooie, Bomberman, Pokemon Stadium. There's too many to name. There's too many to name. I, I think the N64, apart from people with three hands, is everybody's favourite controller. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of uh, negative feedback on the on those controllers. No, they were great. <laughs> they were great. Uh, what other consoles after that? So I had a PS2 for about a year and a half, just so I could complete the GDA games that all my friends were playing. Traded that in quickly for an Xbox because I was a rabid Halo fan. Yes, yes. And after the Xbox? After the Xbox, I think I got the 360. That lasted a good three months before a friend of mine broke the disc tray. Uh, and then I switched to P PS4, for yeah, Sony. Which yeah. you've been on since. Now, are there any games that you're looking forward to coming out? One game in particular is called Anthem by Bioware. It's an amazing gameplay, or an amazing game from what I can see so far. Essentially, you're tasked in retaking the Earth back from these alien forces. You're given an exosuit and you are pretty much Iron Man. You can fly, shoot lasers, uh, there's massive open world battles, and I yeah, cannot wait for this game to come out. So is it similar to, to Battle Mech or uh, Mech Warrior? Kind of like Mech Warrior Online, except you're a more humanoid. So you're Iron Man humanoid. running yeah, around, you're essentially, fun. You're essentially Iron Man just blasting the hell out of aliens. No, that's brilliant, that's brilliant. How can people follow you online? So they can follow me by going to my name, Swicked Uchiha, on the PlayStation 4 network. They can find me there, add me. I'm always accepting new friend requests and uh, hope to see you out there on the field. We'll also have links to your YouTube and Facebook uh, in the description section below. Yep. Once again, Aaron, listen, thank you so much for your time. Um, we hope that everyone will come and follow you and we'll see you online. And uh, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me.